Welcome to Osaka. We got to spend two amazing days in Osaka, a city that is famous for its nightlife, street food, and its friendly people. <laughs> it's also the city where I had the best ramen in my entire Japan trip. Osaka has 2.7 million inhabitants and it's Japan's third largest city. But when you're in Dotonbori, it feels like it's the most crowded place you've ever been to. There's so many things to see and try. It's a food lover's paradise. We are currently in Dotonbori. This is the food and entertainment district in Osaka and definitely one of the most unique places I've ever visited in my life. To be honest, we spent most of our time eating. Among our favorites were the Mont Blanc cake, taiyaki, takoyaki, and my favorite ramen ever. It's totally worth coming to Osaka just for the food, but the city also has much more to offer. In parallel to Dotonbori Street, there is a small river, and there's a really nice walkway that you can just stroll along and enjoy the afternoon, so I would highly recommend that, and it's much less crowded. We slowly made our way down the river and passed some super unique sights on the way, such as this giant ferris wheel, a also very giant statue, some super unique shops and the most photographed man in all of Osaka. If you don't feel like walking, you can also take the boat. The people on these tours seemed highly entertained. It is great fun to join the hustle and bustle of downtown Osaka. However, if you want to escape the crowds for a while, there are also a lot of green spices in the city, such as Tenoji Park, where you can also find the Osaka Zoo, as well as Osaka Castle. After some quiet time surrounded by nature, we were ready to join the crowds again. I was having a total blast and definitely revisited some of my childhood dreams. We also found the most incredible restaurant I have ever seen. There was a ship inside this building and I still cannot believe that this was actually true. Walking around Osaka is just a complete like sensory overload. <laughs> it is so cool. In the background you can see Tsutankaku Tower. Uh, from now on let's just call it Observation Tower because the name is quite difficult. And this street is basically right in front of the tower and here you find a lot of eateries and really cool places. And I will try to pronounce the street uh, name one time. It's called Sutenkaku Mina Mihon Street. <laughs> I will link it in the description. On a regular day, Osaka's nightlife is already pretty crazy. However, we happen to be there on Halloween, and I think this took it to a whole different level. <laughs> to end our Japan trip. Osaka really impressed me. It is a feast for all senses. It is colorful, it is crowded, it has amazing food and I have never seen that many people in one place. So be sure to put Osaka on your bucket list when visiting Japan. That was our stay in Osaka. We're back at the airport and now it's time to depart to our next country. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, please leave a like or a comment if you have any questions. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!